Welcome to the Investors in Community video guides. This video is all about showing you how to create a profile as a business. So firstly, you must ensure that you're on our homepage. You can do this by searching the URL investorsincommunity.org. Once you're at the homepage, you will see in the top right hand corner, sign up and log in. Please, for this video, just focus on sign up. After you've clicked on sign up, you will be taken through to this page where you can see sign up as an individual, create a good cause slash charity, and then create a business account as well. For this video, we will just be focusing on create a business account. So as you can see on the right hand side, you have personal details and business details. For this first step, you must complete your personal details. This includes your personal email, your name, gender, phone number, date of birth, address, including city and postcode, and then a password for your individual account. The reason we ask for information such as address and date of birth is for the purposes of gift aid and also to ensure that all of our users are over the age of 18. After you have filled in all of these details, please select proceed to next step. This will then take you through to step two, where you will fill in your business details. This includes your business name, your address and your phone number. Once you have filled in all of these details, the green button at the bottom will read create your account. Please just select there. Once you have selected create your account, you will be taken through to a page that reads, we have sent you an authentication email. This will be to your personal email, so please do check there. If you haven't received the email, please do check junk. If it's not there, then please do get in touch. After you have opened your email, you will find two links. If you click on the first link, this will take you through to an authentication successful page. This means that your account has now been authenticated. Once you have done this, please head back to the email and select the second link. Here you will be able to log into your profile for the first time. Please do ensure that you do type out your email and your password rather than using an autocomplete as this can cause some problems. After you have done this, you are ready to start giving back in your community as both an individual and as a business. It is important to note that the individual account that has been registered alongside the business account will now be considered this business account's admin. This can be changed later, and if you have any questions about this, please do get in touch. After you have logged into your business profile, go up to the top right hand corner, select switch profile, and here you will find your business profile. You will know that you're in the right section when this section at the top here turns to a charcoal colour. As this is the first time you are opening your business account, this page will look a little different. You will see fewer icons on this side here. If you'd like to change this and become a subscribed business, please head to the account settings option. Here you will be able to see all the details of your account that you entered previously when signing up as a business. You will also be able to see business details, admins, subscription and invoices. Please head to the subscription section. Then select this option here. You will see two plan options. You have the monthly plan or the annual plan. Once you have decided which plan you are going for, just select Select Plan. You will be taken through to this page that shows you your subscription. Here you can enter a discount code if you have one and then also your card details to pay for your subscription. On the right hand side you will also be able to see a breakdown of your subscription across the year. After you have subscribed as a business, you will be able to see all of these icons on the left hand side. We hope you found this guide helpful, but if you have any further questions, please do contact us on info at investorsincommunity.org and we will be more than happy to answer any of your questions.